Vaccinations for 37,000 aviation and maritime frontline workers in Singapore are expected to be complete within two months. 13,000 will receive their shots by the end of this week under the mass exercise which started today. Those who've had their full course of vaccination won't have to do routine, they won't have to be rather routine tested as often. From baggage and cargo handlers to cleaners, cabin crew and airport security, about 2,000 frontline workers from the aviation sector can get their vaccinations at Changi Airport Terminal 4 each day as the mass exercise begins. This will be scaled up to 4,000 jabs daily both here as well as at another facility in Raffle City Convention Centre, which can currently inoculate up to 1,000 maritime frontliners per day. Imagine 37,000 frontliners if they are vaccinated substantially. Our seaport, our airport, whoever come through will know that it is safe, our people are cohesive and we work as a team. This is a huge advantage in terms of our brand name. Singapore Airlines can be the first vaccinated international airline of the world. Mr Ong explains this is an important step in getting Singapore back to its position as a regional and global aviation hub. Under the Sea Air vaccination exercise, priority will be given to 20,000 aviation frontline workers who may come into contact with travellers from high-risk countries. Around 7,000 aviation staff are scheduled for vaccination this week. I'm pretty excited about the jet because I've been waiting for it and it's actually a good news for all of us that uh, we are eligible to take the vaccination. Workers who complete their full course of vaccination won't have to be tested as often under rostered routine testing. For instance, those now tested every fortnight will only need to be tested monthly. When asked if vaccinations elsewhere will affect entry requirements into Singapore, Mr Ong says he hopes to have an answer during the Committee of Supply debates. That is a big question, uh, not ready to answer today. I hope to have a time, maybe during committee or supply budget debate this year, I'll explain the policy. Mr Ong adds that the air travel bubble with Hong Kong is ready to be activated when conditions are right and says Singapore continues to explore travel arrangements with other places.